Up, you spin and throw, and you make a good throw, you got a chance to get an out. Foul tip. Suzuki can't hang on. Now Suzuki uh, claiming he was pulling the foul tip out of his mitt, and here comes Ron Gardenhire. Suzuki claiming that the ball hit the ground when he was trying to pull the ball out of his glove. Hardy has a chance, an opportunity to appeal this. I know that this is an appeal. Clearly, right there. he has it in his glove and then rolls out of his glove. And he had it long enough. Well, again, I don't know whether it applies to catchers, but we've yeah. seen it in the outfield and, and in the neighborhood infielders. play middle infielders. Right. You have to voluntarily extract the ball with your throwing hand for it to be called an out. But he had it long enough to turn the glove around, so it was embedded in the glove. Josh Hamilton had a catch he thought uh, should have been made last night, and instead the replay ruled otherwise because he didn't extract the ball out of his glove. Now, if it applies to a catcher in the catcher's mid, I mean, how many times have you seen a catcher in a foul tip just show the umpire with the ball in the catcher's mid to get the uh, call third strike? I don't believe this is a reviewable yeah. play on, on a foul tip into a catcher's mid. And they're calling him out. And now Lowry will shrug his shoulders, and here comes Bob Melvin. Melvin, a former catcher, probably had this happen to him a whole bunch of times too. You know, we have a reviewable plays manager challenger little sheet here. I don't see anything on, on this right here. No, and if it's not on that sheet, it's not reviewable. I guess that's my point. There, it's clearly in the glove. Yeah, see, I mean, he he had it, and then it just rolled out, but he had it long enough I feel to be